Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Europe off to a strong start analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 8F9546972032356 10pm European stocks made impressive gains on Monday, playing a little catch-up from the late rally on Wall Street on Friday and as the US celebrates Labor Day bank holiday. The tech sell-off in the US last week has dictated sentiment and re-energized these markets. The U.S. bank holiday brings with it a certain calmness although European stocks have built on early gains as the day has progressed. Economic optimism is improving which could benefit the non-tech sectors that have had a harder time in recent months. Given the bounce back late last week, it will be interesting to see how tech responds on Tuesday, with Nasdaq futures back in the red while the Dow and S&P are heading for small gains. It's always going to have added interest when a stock like Apple falls around 20% in a few days and it's not even hit a one-month low. These stocks are on a wild ride. Sterling slides as Boris prepares us for no deal The FTSE is the outperformer in Europe buoyed by the drop in the pound which came as UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson once again prepared us for no deal. There is little doubt this is a negotiation tactic ahead of the October 15 deadline that both have set for these talks but the walls are fast closing in. No deal may be the less desirable option for the UK and EU, particularly in the midst of a pandemic but both sides are going to have to blink soon or they may find themselves in an extremely uncomfortable position. For the markets, it means the next month or so could be very volatile for the pound in particular and with the currency up more than 15% against the dollar since March, there's plenty of room below if profit taking kicks in. Oil testing 2 month support oil is hovering around technical support, having pushed against these levels on the opening day of the week. Brent crude dipped briefly below $42 and WTI $39 but both having recovered a little to sit just above THSE levels. The declines today took both to more than two-month lows and despite climbing back above support levels, both continue to look very vulnerable to a more significant correction in the coming weeks. Gold looking shaky the dollar is making small gains on Monday and could be showing signs of heading for a corrective move, having come under heavy selling pressure the last few months. The greenback sell-off has lost momentum and a small recovery could be next, which does not bode well for gold as it tries to rediscover its mojo. The longer-term outlook looks good for gold, even now as it trades above $1,900 but the short-term may look a little less bright. Should the dollar break higher, $1,900 will look in serious jeopardy, with $1,860 below not looking much better. Let us face it, the yellow metal could move back to $1,800 and would still look good, even more attractive arguably. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at https://mt5.expert.advisors.